Hi everybody, my name is Jeremy Bedford. I'm the owner of Bay Area Bedbug and today I want to talk about the pros and cons of an Apprehend bioinsecticide bedbug treatment and questions you should ask a company you're looking to hire that performs these services. So to jump right in, Apprehend is a bioinsecticide spray that's applied in a way that bedbugs will cross it and spread these spores, which is the spray, to other bedbugs and kill them off over a set period of time. So some of the major pros I'll go into first. First and foremost, very low preparation is required for Apprehend. For the most part, whenever we do Apprehend treatments, we recommend the bedding be stripped and around the bedding area be decluttered. So not as invasive as doing like a heat treatment or other treatment methods. This is really low preparation. So one huge pro. The next benefit, actually I would almost put this first, is much lower cost than our heat treatment. So heat treatments, any company provides them, usually it's a premium service. Apprehend, it's not the premium service. You're not requiring specialized equipment. With Apprehend, it is an applicator, so a sprayer essentially. And then of course, the spray. Usually it's a one person kind of a job to where you're not gonna be there on site for eight hours, 10 hours like a heat treatment. So that's another big benefit, the low cost. So another huge thing that I like again, I like this a lot, is it's working 24 seven. So when Apprehend is applied, these spores are a living, breathing fungal spore. Bed bugs that cross it, no matter what time of day it is, they're gonna start getting killed by these spores. So that's a huge plus, is it's continuously working under all levels of infestation, whether you've got a handful of bugs or tens of thousands, it can be used. So uh, another next great thing, Low toxicity, so they rate chemicals on three different ratings. You have caution, warning, and danger. Danger being the highest level of toxicity, highest risk of health you know, repercussions. Caution is the lowest. Apprehend is rated at caution, and it's only targeted for bed bugs. So it's not gonna kill other insects where it would mean it's more potent to kill other insects. It's just designed for bed bugs. And it's applied in places that's not gonna come in direct contact with skin. So it doesn't get sprayed all over your bed, on your pillows, you know. It's really applied on bed frames, backsides of headboards, box springs, top of box springs, under the couches, under couch cushions. Places like this are where it's most common. Again, we're not coming in direct contact with it. So another big benefit is low toxicity. The other part I already touched on is that it spreads like a virus. So to kind of go into it more, the way it works is these bugs, they cross the spores. They then go back to their harborage area. These spores that are on their feet, kind of like wet feet going through sand, will then get dropped off to other bed bugs. This is how the treatment works. Is it spreads much like a virus. Unlike other chemicals that are out there that every single bug has to come in contact with, Apprehend isn't that way. It can work with only hitting a handful of the bugs who will then spread it to the other bugs and wipe out the infestation. So major pro with using Apprehend. Um, now to jump into the bad. So this part is, it's not really bad, it just is what it is, but essentially you have to have patience. So Apprehend is not something you would wanna do if you're looking to kill the bugs in one day. If you are, that's heat treatment, and I made a video about that, so check that out. Otherwise, it's great. So when I say patience, this is the way it works. One bug crosses it, it takes a few days for that bug to die. In that same period of time as it's spreading the spores around, those bugs will take time to die. So you will still possibly see bugs, you may possibly get bites, this is all 100% normal. The next phase that happens is about a week to three weeks in, the bed bug eggs will hatch. Those bugs have to feed right away. So same scenario, you may get a wave of bites after you've been good for a while because those newly hatched bed bugs have to cross the spray. So something to consider, you know, you might get bites, you might see bugs. Um, also the way we perform the apprehend is after the first 30 days has transpired, we come back out, reinspect it, reapply apprehend just to make sure none of the previous material was disturbed and there's a fresh batch of spores there working to kill any remaining bugs if there are any. So that's one of the drawback though, is the patience you have to have. And it is a two-step process, unlike the heat treatment, which is typically one and done. Another drawback to it is that, people don't like to hear this when I say it, but you have to maintain normal sleeping habits. So staying in the same bed, you've been getting attacked, 
Doesn't sound great, but you gotta do it. You gotta act like the bait to draw all these bugs out past the apprehend so they'll slowly die off. Otherwise, if you all of a sudden move to the couch or a spare bedroom, those bugs have no reason to come out and cross the apprehend. So that's another drawback. So the two things to consider, one, having lots of patience, and then two, being able to stay in the same room you have seen the bed bugs or got the bed bug bites from. So that sums it up for the good and the bad of Apprehend. Now, when talking to a pest control company, here are some of the things you want to ask them if they're going to provide Apprehend. What I like to do is make sure they're, make sure they're actually licensed, bonded, and insured. Essentially, with Apprehend, you're supposed to be licensed to even get your hands on it, but knowing the internet, you can find things and get it other ways. So uh, double check that they're licensed, bonded, and insured. The next thing is check their track record. Look at their Google My Business, check out their Yelp, their Thumbtack, whatever way you found them, make sure they have good reviews. If you've got some so-so reviews or some negative reviews in there, you know, read them, take them with a grain of salt, but understand that if someone left a bad review, there's usually a reason for it. So that's the next thing. Make sure they have a proven track record. And then finally, make sure they've got a guarantee. I don't care how long they've been doing this or what they've been doing. If you specialize in bed bugs, knowing that they can get brought back in, you should still have a guarantee. At Bay Area Bed Bug, we do a minimum six month guarantee, whether it's our heat treatment or our apprehend treatment. Again, knowing they can get brought back in the next day, we will still guarantee it. Other companies should do the same. No, they won't always do that, but double check that they have some sort of guarantee. Also when dealing with guarantees, look at the fine print. Uh, with us in the six months, if you have a bed bug reinfestation, we come back out at no charge. We don't have a service call fee. Some companies will do 30 days, you know, six weeks, 60 days where it's no charge. Then they'll give you a long three year warranty but if they come back out, they charge you every time. So find out what that charge is, just to make sure you're prepared for a potential reinfestation or if the treatment doesn't work. So ask about the guarantee. And that pretty much summarizes it. So those are the three things to ask for pest control companies when you're looking to hire them, especially for Apprehend. If this video was helpful, feel free to leave it a like or a comment down below and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.